this is actually pretty important. Um, uh, Twitch is doing a new update, which is pretty cool. They're adding like a TikTok style page to look at clips and discover clips or something like that. Feature selected. Here, let's watch this real quick. I don't even know about it. I just saw I, I saw the tweet and liked it. So let's see. Why won't it let me click on it? Is there no sound? There's no sound. Why would you do this with no sound? What are you doing? But uh, it's essentially you have control over which of your clips are shown in uh, Discovery Feed. You already control who can make clips of your stream and can delete ones you don't like. In August, you'll be, you'll be able to mark clips as featured that will be prioritized in Discovery Feed. This is big. This is a W for Twitch. How long until Kick rolls out the same thing? How long? But um, here, I think there's like even better images of it. Uh, let's see. Witch talk, yeah. That's kind of what they're going for. And I think that's great. There have always needed to be a bigger discovery for clips. And there's anything that helps discovery at all is a W. Oh, it's something I've always been saying. Like, discoverability on Twitch is, is horrible. Uh, which is why I've even, when I'm talking about kick, I'm like, yo, like, the discovery over there is better right now, probably. It's despite how horrible of a place it is. Um, but where are these tweets at? These are all TwitchCon Paris tweets. Where are the, where are the good ones? About this new thing. Maybe we'll go. Hey, you know what? Let's just go to Zach Bussy, the Bussinator. He'll have it all right there. Go to the Bussinator's page. Um, is this one of them? No, it's this right here. Twitch clip editor updates. In August, you can dir directly export edited clips to TikTok. Also, clip editor is getting a, a trim function a cr access offered to channel editors, and the tool will also be made available on mobile. Um, oh, it's not even a video. But yeah, this is already... I thought this was already a thing, though, where you could do this editor thing. I thought they already implemented this, I'm pretty sure. Because I go to a website called Streamladder. Anytime I would make my... my videos that I would post on Instagram and things like that. It was Streamladder. You put the clip there, then you edit the, the aspect ratio you want, put your camera where you want in the clip. But now you're going to be able to do that directly from Twitch. I thought they already implemented that, though. But where's the thing that shows that they're doing this, uh, where it's like going to be like a discovery page or something like that? I thought that was a thing. Um, yeah, Twitch is launching a mobile-based uh, clip discovery experience. Twitch will choose clips based on how likely they are to bring new viewers, but creators can also mark featured clips. Here, let's see. Is, does this have sound? No. What the? Why don't these have any sound? But look, it's, look at this. This is Twitch, and it looks like TikTok. And it's, it, look at that. Look how easy it is to then click on their page, go hit uh, sub or follow. Very good update. In a sea of bad decisions, bad updates, being like, here's Guest Star. We're making more updates to Guest Star. Somebody nobody wants or cares about. This is what everybody wants and, and cares about. So, big W for Twitch in that, in that sense. Um, let's see. I was today years old when I realized this was a hooker in Toy Story. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't realize that one till today. Never got that. Um, let's see. Any other any other good tweets to look at? Um, let's see. I think that might be it. 